Days after Hurricane Florence soaked the south, animals rescued from floodwaters are now arriving in our area. NBC 10 in Delaware just a short time ago as several of the dogs arrived. Now, the Brandywine Valley SPCA is opening its doors to serve as an evacuation hub for animals displaced by the storm. NBC 10 Delaware Bureau reporter Tim Furlong was there as the first dog showed up. Today we got some of Florence's clouds. We also got some of its rain. And late Tuesday, this caravan of vehicles brought us some of the animals caught in Florence's path. Brandywine Valley SPCA volunteers went down to Fayetteville, North Carolina to rescue dogs and cats from a shelter that was literally going underwater. It was very hard to get in. It was very hard to get out. There was a lot of water, running water, going across the roads to try and get them in and out. The SPCA just acquired this building in Georgetown, Delaware and planned to open it in January. But today... Crews worked hard to get it ready now, so these Florence animals had a place to go. But when the hurricane hit, we knew that we had to step up and we, you know, could make do with what we had here, um, kind of paused on the um, renovation and construction, and really just take action because we knew that we had to. These animals from the Carolinas will be ready for adoption in just a few days at this and other SPCA shelters in Delaware and in southeastern Pennsylvania. And if you adopt one of these dogs or cats, you're not only giving them a good home, you're also clearing up space so more animals can be brought and rescued out of the flood zones. We got you, don't worry. Rescuers are active looking for stranded animals in the Carolinas. If they're not reunited with their owners, they're going to need shelter space outside of the flood zones. That includes our area. It hurt. It hurt a lot to see these animals that needed to get moved so badly and to know that there are so many more that need to move, that need to get out of that situation. In Georgetown, Sussex County, Tim Furlong, NBC 10 News.